there. Future Queen BJ here. Um, BTW, uh, your girl goes a little, um, one, you know, kind of volume warning. Let's go ahead and put that and nip that in the butt because I know we're probably going to get that too. I go a little spoiler heavy towards the second half, aka the end of the episode. There's going to be, I'm either going to put the timestamp on in my comments or like, maybe somewhere around here, but probably in the comments down below because I got to find it myself and such. Um, but heavy spoilers into not really more or less volume two, but more volumes three, four, and five for people who have seen Ruby. If you have not seen Ruby, I would say once I'm done with the reaction of the video, just stop. Do not watch anything else. Do not listen to me talk about anything else I want people to you know experience this uh, in a way without having big ass major spoilers into this video so please take it with a grain of salt I don't need people getting pissed at me and being in the comments saying like oh well you said this and you said this ish there's a reason why I'm saying <laughs> there's spoilers in this but I mean yes please enjoy it I really you know loved seeing this like over again I, I love this so freaking much and as something that what like is still kind of near and dear to my heart I think this really just reawakened my love for this show like a lot and your girl might have to go back to watching this show from volume 5 to volume 8 and I think probably during my break this week uh you know even though I only work three days this week and I'm gonna be hella busy um maybe I'll binge it I don't freaking know but please enjoy it I will see you guys all next time bye Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one through three, or really how I look at it, chapters one through three of Ruby Ice Queendom. Um, okay, so one, we we're already putting in this in parts, so BTW, so that will be part one will be from the beginning all the way to the fifty minute mark, and then from the fifty minute mark to the end, that'll be part two. So it'll still all be in one video, so BTW, just in case someone is hella confused about how I'm doing this. Um, I, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little, like, hesitant on this because the last time I was really into Ruby as a nutshell was volume five. And it's been, <laughs> it's been years since I've watched this show because I got into this show when, uh, I think, what, volume one and volume two was on Netflix and then I just binged it and then I think... By the time I finished volume two, volume three was coming out. And then that's where, like, everything changes. So it makes me wonder, like, if they do end up doing this, like, I wonder how far they're going to go. Because, see, this makes me... Mm. Okay, note to self. Deja, yep, at the end of this, I need you to do, like, a little spoiler thing. Because I, I want to talk some spoilers about this show, but I can only really talk about it with people who have seen Ruby. And I, and I can only talk about it all the way up to season five. So... Note to self, literally before I finish part two and ish, we go in depth a little bit. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with part one in three, two, one, go. Oh, it's already pretty. <laughs> now see, is that supposed to be what's her face? I think that is. Oh, they look really good in this. The field I am getting right now, like, oh. Yeah, that's gotta be what's her face talking. Cause I mean, <laughs> I think the last time I heard Saudi is Ruby was like. Ugh, 
a while ago. Look how pretty she was, though. It's still a bug. I can't talk about spoilers. Oh. I'm going to cry. I can't do this. <laughs> Your brother? Ah, uh, yes. The, mm -hmm. Is winter going to show up? Isn't this when she goes against that one thing her um in her trailer? Yeah, it has to be, because she doesn't have, um... Can I talk about that, too? I think I can. Yeah, it is! Oh! I mean, we're only a couple of minutes in, and Shaf was just like, mm hmm, we're putting everything into this. Like, oh. Mm -mm. Yeah. 
Blake. <laughs> and there's fucking Adam. That mother. Oh, I can't. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh my god. I can't. You know, I kind of was expecting them to do, since they're doing both Weiss and Blake's trailers, I would have expected them to do Rubies and Yangs, especially Yangs, because that's the best trailer! Wasn't this part in like the season four? It, it's in one of her other trailers, literally. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to do more research again for this. It's a pretty shot. Freaking clean, just uh. Okay, I got a question. I gotta go ahead and ask this now. Since they're showing winter now, are they possibly gonna show crow? Like, I, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Do not play with my heart, I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, if I'm failing girl in this hard over these four, it's going to be worse when I see, like, John and Nora. And, oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for this. She don't realize what this is. She just is like,
I mean, and does she get him in the pending? Cause oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, here he freaking comes. Oh my god! They did that so perfectly. Let me go nice. Like, it's time. That one girl is going to show up, right? Not only her, but... The one... Ha mm, I don't remember names. I didn't think she was they oh my god they so did it <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Remember when everything was so simple with this show? And then, you know, <laughs> volume three happened, <laughs> and then volume four happened, and then volume five. <laughs> Woo, guys. It's so weird to see him like this because it's like, I, I can't.
Ah. Uh, uh. There's so like so many people probably know why I'm just fangirling at every little freaking thing. Once again, <laughs> the rest of the volumes. If you only knew. Okay, next episode. <laughs> I am literally trying so hard. Come on, you got this.
See, that's that's just why he's always got it in and in that. Yeah, we can't even talk about that yet. Oh, we're already getting, oh my God. Well, somebody wasn't paying attention. She is like, oh my god. I, I need a hug. Just <laughs> you know why? <laughs> Just that's all.
So she's like the only new character for this, right? Because she's not in the original series. How, or maybe she is. Like, I mean, because once again, your girl stopped at volume five. So she could be in volume eight, for Christ's sake. Possibly even volume nine that's supposed to go. See, this is just going to make me end up like continuing from volume six. Just to see what the heck happened with this show. And there's Lies. Mm hmm. Ain't that Blake? You say that now. Oh. 
Nora. <laughs> Once again, the baby, the camera. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You can get that extra cut in a couple of minutes, so you're fine. Yeah, but ain't this the same time when Ron gets... Will you two stop flirting every like five minutes?
God, they freaking did this with this. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I got so many freaking questions. You know, I just want to ask people who have seen volume six to volume eight. Is she in there? Like, come on now. Oh my god. Why? Look how pretty she was right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Beautiful freaking water. Oh, I got three minutes before I'm doing part one. Okay.
Can we talk about that? Am I allowed to talk about that or no? <laughs> Yeah, but he's not feeling good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, pause, pause, pause. All right, I'll see you guys in one second for part two. All righty, part two, one, three, two, one, go. Damn. Like that one from volume three? Oh, okay. Then never mind. Oh. 
Holy shit, Jesus. If he only knew what he is gonna become, like, oh! <laughs> I mean, hell, they gotta do the same thing for Weiss. But of course with Weiss, it's gonna be a completely different thing. <laughs> Talking to you, Weiss. literally just showing everybody <laughs>
Weiss. Weiss. I, mm, I want to say it. I want to say it so bad, but I can't. Is anybody else showing up at Penny? <laughs> Blake. Mm -mm.
Penny. That's all. Penny happened. Oh my god, she's singing the ending. <laughs> They would end it like this. They would. They freaking would. Of course. Of freaking course. Y'all expect me to wait. We gotta wait how long for this? Like what? Two? Because they, they did all three episodes yesterday and really, no. All three episodes came out Friday. Then Crunchyroll put it out on Saturday. I gotta wait three weeks for episode four. Okay. All right. So, all right. Here, here's the first thing. From returning to this, I mean, this was really, really good. Once again, like, Studio Shaft was like, oh, you know the 2D version of this show? Oh, we're gonna take that, and we're just gonna add, like, more to it. And they did. I mean, it, it's really weird to, like, when you're looking at certain scenes... And you're looking, you're thinking in your head how it looked in 2D, and then you're looking at, I mean, not 2D, in 3D, and then you're looking at it in 2D, and it's a little, like, not off in a bad way, in a good way. It's more like, oh, you're so used to this, that when you're now looking at it in 2D, it's completely different and stuff, and they're able to do certain, like, animations and facial expressions that the 3D version can't. Or at that time when I watched season one, volume one, one ugh, volume one and volume two, that they tried to emulate but couldn't get to the best of their abilities, and I get that. I, you know, oh, I can't even believe this. I think Monty would be really proud of this. I just, oh my god. Okay, so let, hmm, okay, what else can I talk about? I mean, I can talk about a lot with this. I mean, Ah, I can and then at the same time I can't because of the fact is I know people who are going to be people who initially got into this because of what it looked like or other anime YouTubers like talking about this like there's so many people who don't know what is going on from this and how either different or similar it is to the original series and so as someone who did you're like I'm sitting here and I'm like okay that happened that happened that happened because I don't remember that ending. I really don't. Because it's been, like, because see, it feels like from these first three chapters for this, we're kind of on, like, episode, I wouldn't say, like, it feels like we're about done with volume one, or we're, like, at the halfway point of volume one for it. But at the same time, I don't think we are. Because, like, like I said, it's been a long, like, long behind time since I've seen the whole freaking, because I think, like, like I said, it was all on Netflix, and both of the movies, like, everything all together was, like, at least, like, an hour to two hours long, so, like, it, it's a lot of information, but it does seem that they are cutting some things out, and they're adding in some anime-only-as things, like, with What's-Her-Face as that new character, like, 
she I don't even remember her and I don't think she's a part of the original series so it makes me in a way it does make me want to go back and go look real quick and such but at the same time like seeing these characters once again seeing these characters Knowing what I know about some of these characters and where they are from where I stopped watching this show, like, it's a blessing and it's a curse because it's just like, I can't talk about it they want to. Oh, God, I want it so bad. Like, I really do. Like, y'all, you, oh, my God. Like, seriously, people who've seen Ruby, like, you you probably know how bad I want to talk about this. But at the same time, like, for the people who have never seen this show, they're probably going to be like, what the fuck? Like, why is she freaking fangirling over this, this, that, and the third? Why does she look like she's about to do this and that or everything? Or why is she about to cry over this and stuff? If you only fucking knew. That's all I have to say. If you only freaking knew. Like, oh my god, John. <laughs> if you only knew. Like, oh my god. Okay, so I'm very surprised that they also showed Winter because I wasn't expecting them to show Winter until if they probably did Volume 3. Then, okay. The big thing. You showed Cinder. Not not like her face or anything, but you showed hair. Like, oh. <laughs> like the fact is that you're showing some of my favorite characters. Like, at the beginning. Like, oh my god. I can't. Like, dude. It is. It's so freaking. It's good, but it's so freaking crazy at the same time. Because you're like, oh yeah. Like, the last time I saw this character was this part and this part and stuff. But, I mean, yeah, like, it makes me wonder if they're possibly going to show Crow early. Like, very, very early. Because, like I said, Winter doesn't show up until Volume 3. And, <laughs> just, you know, Chef, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Because, you know, we I need to have a conversation. Like, oh, it, it's good. It's all good things. All good things. Like, straight up. But, like, you, your girl want to be, like, on the side, like, a fly on a wall about the conversations that they had with this company about what they could show and what they could show yet. Because, like, oh, I, I mean, okay, I was expecting them to kind of show, like, um, oh, my God. Because, see, I don't remember her name, so I have to now kind of describe this character. Of course, it's a girl. Um, she had her hair is like two tone colors. It's like pink and um, black. And her her weapon is like a parasol, but it's also a gun. I thought she was gonna show up today. So something tells me she's not gonna show up until episode four or at least five, possibly. I feel like maybe they might end up showing Blake's parents as well. Maybe I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, who else, who else am I really excited to see? Crow, cause fucking Crow. Um, I don't think they're gonna show Oscar, cause they can't, I, I, cause it, it, it would be weird for them to show him, like, very early on. I mean, like, it, okay, it, with that, it would be interesting because it's like, oh, hey, people who have seen it, like, you know who this character is, and you know what he's gonna do, but then, like, people who've never seen it are gonna be like, okay, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and why the fuck is he here? Um, but I, uh, I'm trying to think. There's gotta be, no, okay, no, uh, there, there's two that I'm missing. There's two that I'm missing, and they play a big, big, big role in volume three. But I can't, I don't think they're, they're not going to show up until maybe by the, like, either the halfway point of this or possibly, like, the final couple of episodes of this. Because it, it has to do with Cinder. That's the thing, from what I remember. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to rewatch all these one through, one through three. I mean, like, like really probably one through five again. Um, I'm, I'm expecting them to show the one Grimm from volume three as well. And so, oh, no, time out. Let's talk about the Grimm real quick. Just how, like, okay. So I think the way that they have it, like, done in this, I think they look really, really good. Um, It's a little, there's a, there's a couple of moments where it's kind of like, eh. But, I mean, because, like I said, the same thing is, you know, you're so used to them looking 3D-esque 
and going into 2DS, like, it's very different and such. So, I mean, it's still, but mwah, props to them. They're, they look very, very good. Um, our, our little narrator, I feel like she's going to pop up really early on. And I'm really excited to see her because, of course, um, need to know who she's voiced by because we need to know for reasons. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think, what else should I say? I mean, okay, you know what, let's all, let's talk about that. Okay, so probably, let, let's go ahead and how Wendy's first got into this. So I think my favorite character when I first got into this was, like, Weiss and such. And then I think you all know who my other, like, eventually who my other favorite character is now. Uh, like, especially because, you know, going into it and how she's grown as a character from Volume 1 to Volume 5. It's very freaking obvious very obvious like hello if you know who i am and how i love this saying so much it's freaking obvious who it is so i don't need to say who it is you just know and such if you don't i mean um twitter <laughs> twitter in a nutshell and such because literally what her characters is my banner on my twitter and she plays best girl literally in everything that she's in she is best gal so mm. Um, okay, no, Steam Yang. Oh my god. Oh, my Goldilocks. <sighs> okay, um, seeing her, despite you know what, I, you don't know how bad, like, okay, this, this is the spoiler time, and I'm probably gonna end up putting this, so like, I'm at the 24... That'll probably be like an hour or something into it. All right. So at this mark right here, BTW, if you have not seen Ruby volume, <laughs> volume three to maybe even volume five, please do not listen to the rest of this part. I, I beg you. And I will be saying that in this other part and such, because I'm going to go into a little bit of spoiler territory for some of this for people who have seen this. So please... Please, 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 for the love of God, because I don't want people coming in like, oh, well, that's a spoiler. I'm giving you this warning now-ish. That's it. Heck, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to give you another warning at the beginning of this video. So, yeah. Okay. Seeing Yang with both of her arms and such, and how, like, you know, happy-go-lucky Yang is, because I think that's another thing of why I also like her as a character as well, and it's... And then in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about, like, everything from Volume 3 into Volume 4 into Volume 5, where, you know, spoiler alert, you know, her arm gets cut off. And how that was the first time where she felt very, like, defensive. And so I'm kind of hoping that if we do get to Volume 3, that's something that I really want to see them truly go through. Because, like, I feel like all four of these seiyus for these girls, like, of course, freaking Saudi Haini, fucking goddess. Um, whoever is voicing both Weiss, Yang, and Blake, because I gotta go look at their ish for their stuff, they're, they're really good. So whoever is voicing them, like, mwah, tops it, like, <laughs> applause, like, everything, but I feel like once we get to that moment where Yang, like, it's Yang, Adam, and Blake, and then, you know, ish happens with Blake, and Yang goes to save her, and then Adam, you know, cuts her arm off, and that was, like, literally one of the most, like, high emotional moments of volume three and then plus you know what well, we'll talk about that in a moment um but I, I think yeah besides the other moments um and then seeing her like her journey of not having her arm and how you know that was her not only defense but then also coping with it at the same time and how she's like she feels like she's useless without it it's very similar like she has like hella ptsd from it and it took a, a really long time for her to be like finally like i'm gonna go do this and so when they like took that step to finally to give her a new arm and everything a prosthetic arm and such and how her and freaking blake were able to kick adam's ass i think that was like in volume five it, it's one of the most like freaking greatest moments in this show for for those two in a nutshell or like any freaking moment where like those two flirt because it's fucking obvious for those two okay let's talk about the other elephant in the room because uh, if they 
if they do this, I'm I'm really not going to be ready for it. Literally seeing this character and thinking about that ish in the back of my mind. I'm just, I'm not ready for that. Okay, so I can never say her name right because it's so hard. Uh, Purina, I think that's how you say her name. It just in in John, in their relationship, and how that escalated with the way it did, and then unfortunately the downfall of what Cinder did to Purina because of the, um. The four, it, it's because they were after the four, um, I think it was like the, the Celestial Maidens or something. I don't know. I have to go back and look. Um, and then again, you know, because of it, Pira, Pirna is one of them reincarnated and such. And then she ends up getting killed by Cinder and such. And then, you know, she ends up taking Pirna's power and such. And then also the Ruby situation and how special Ruby is. Um, I think the first time when I saw that, and I remember this like this was yesterday. I think we were we were getting to like towards that moment where she died. And I remember RT, I think I was on the YouTube page or I was on their website. I don't remember. Um that uh it was the uh the uh oh my god. The 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 little like message that they had at the beginning of the episode indicating like, hey, we're gonna go dark on this show. And such. And so at that time when I was catching up with it, because I don't I don't remember how far they were into volume three. I think we were very, very close to the end of volume three. And I was just at the episode where both Cinder, the one girl and that one dude who eventually Cinder does meet between volume by the end of volume one going on to volume two. Um, they're getting ready to kill one of the characters and, and one of the other celestial maidens and stuff. Um when that happened, that's when I knew we were like, oh, okay, we're going to start taking some characters out. But did not think it was going to be her because, you know, she was such a badass character. And I straight up was not expecting that. And I hated the fact that they did that. But at the same time, when you look at like volume four and volume five, and I've only seen the openings of volume six, seven, and eight. And how Jean, like, <laughs> changes as a person. Like, I think it was, ugh, it has to be like around volume four, where they finally talk about her. And it's, it, it it's one of, like, it, for him, it's literally one of the most emotional moments. Because it's like, it is sad and stuff. But then you also got to think, like, she's still watching over him. And she would super, like, be hella proud of him of what of the man that he's becoming I, I think everyone who really liked Jean um from the beginning up until like where volume four and volume five came into like everybody truly was proud of what they did with him and so I'm kind of hoping that like where I'm guessing like volume six to eight possibly even nine because I'm guessing nine is airing in like fall maybe I don't know it I know it's supposed to air this year um I hope they're even doing even more care a great development on him and such um, <laughs> Ren and Nora, <laughs> I have nothing to say about them. I mean, you, you know, that that's the babies. They are, like, still, once again, the cutest freaking couple. And I hope that, you know, later volumes that they have a lot of cute, adorable moments. I mean, especially, you know, was it also volume five? Where they, I think, where we got the Nora and Ren backstory and such, I think. <laughs> when this comes out and everybody's gonna be like, oh! But, I mean, seriously, it's just, it's, it's awesome to see this in a new light and such. And I love how Shaf, like, did beautifully. Yeah, I mean, give them all the damn awards for this because this is only, like, it, it's only going up from here. Like, y'all, <laughs> y'all don't know. <laughs> like, you really don't know what is about to be in store even though I just like spoiled some of it for people who do know and such and I pray to God that no one else looks in ish and reads into this shit um but y'all don't fucking know what the fuck is coming especially like for volume two but like I'm super excited to see how they're gonna animate so many other things but this does make me want to go back and rewatch it from volume one all the way up to volume five and then possibly continue it on to volume eight because like I think 
when I when I stopped it, when I stopped Volume Five in like two thousand and seventeen, um, I was like, I, it was. Mm, I felt like yes, I still like it, but then at the same time, like I was slowly my hype for it kind of died and such. I think a lot of us can maybe say that. I can't speak for everyone for this show because it did go certain directions that people did like, people didn't like, and I don't even want to talk about in a nutshell because people if you go on TikTok and maybe even YouTube and stuff and how that is so we're not I, I really don't want to talk about that company with this show even though that company made this show um what else should I talk about uh I don't know what else to <laughs> talk about because it, it's just so much like oh my god it, it's just it's good it's good. I really enjoyed this a lot. I, I really think everybody did a damn good job. Just want to know who Crow's going to be voiced by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to know. Um, if uh, the other other character pops up, Little Miss uh, You Know Who, M Word, Yang's M Word, that's all. If she pop up, we need to know who she voiced by too. Um... I don't know what else. I really don't know what else to say. It was just good. It, it was fucking good, and I'm really excited to see what else they're going to do with this. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards chapters 1 through 3 of Ruby Ice Kingdom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all in three weeks, which is crazy. We gotta wait three fucking weeks for episode four. That's some bullshit. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.